really, it is a lot to do in this world. So here we've got our main character. He moves around the game world absolutely in real time. Uh, unlike Heroes where we have everything in turn based. I think that the main difference between this one and Heroes might be like described as, for example, you take Heroes, you take all of the turn based battles out of the game and there will be no game afterwards. If you take out the turn based battles out of King's Bounty, it will still be like an adventure game where you can move around the game world, pick up quests, talk to NPCs, etc. Uh, going to the character himself, so we've got all the like parameters for like the attack, defense, intellect, leadership, which means how many troops can you have in your army. Uh, these are like the mana, rage mana, gold. Here are the skills for each of the character. Uh, of course, each of the classes has uh, like some special skills as well. They're general skills. Most of them are general, but each of the classes has also some special skills. Uh, that's the doll, that's the inventory, to run away from an enemy. If you don't want to fight him, unlike in Heroes of Might and Magic, when he starts chasing you, you can try and run away from him. Just let me... You can also, you know, like, buy a ship and, uh, you know, like, in, in certain locations you can also, like, move around not only on your horse, but also try and, uh, you know, ride, ride the ship. Okay, here's one of the guys standing down there. Try to... Here, he saw us, and we can also try and run away if we don't want to fight. Because you can have a look at his army, if it's too big for you, you can try and run away. Okay, when there's an enemy encounter, we're going into classic hexagonal turn-based mode. Of course, uh, every kind of unit has his like own special abilities, like this, this mage down here, for example. This is the, uh, this one was called the uh, melee trance, the combat trance. Uh, since this is, of course, all against uh, all about fantasy, we've got the spell book with three different kinds of uh, spells, like the order spells, distortion spells, and chaos spells. Let's try and get some uh, poison skull from one of the guys. Okay, here we go. But apart from the uh, main spells or the like kind of uh, main mana we also have a uh, special ability in the game when you find the so-called chest of rage spirits there's rage magic uh, so this is actually the chest of rage and here this is the ordinary mana and this is rage uh, rage mana is collected during the battle the more fierce the battle is the more rage <coughs> mana you get in the chest of rage We've got four spirits of rage. These guys are also can be developed. They gain additional levels. So during the battle, you get additional points. You can develop these guys. And uh, they, but you first of all, as soon as you find this uh, the chest, you have to tame them. You have to fight, for example, with this. Guy. And of course, I mean, later in the game you'll have all possible kinds of rage spirits and their, their type of magic. <coughs> and again, I mean, the main storyline you have to complete to go through the whole, you know, through the whole game. And there are dozens and hundreds of additional quests that you can undertake because the game world is really...